Ro, ro, ro your boat. I'm just in a sing-song mood today. Did you hear what I was singing? How does my voice from here reach you there? We can understand this best with a slinky toy. When the toy is pushed to one end, the coil moves in that direction. Then hit the next coil and that coil starts to move. While one coil hits the other and they hit the next, a compression is formed. Finally, when they recoil or move apart, we see a rare faction. Similarly, when air molecules move back and forth, it is called vibration and that is how sound travels too. When I sing or speak, the air molecules vibrate along the length of the part of sound and look like this. When sound travels through solid, the molecules of solid vibrate up and down while sound travels in a horizontal direction. Hence, this wave is called a transverse wave. The word transverse means perpendicular. A transverse wave goes through crests and troughs. The peak we see are called crest and the depressions are called troughs. If we map a longitudinal wave with a transverse wave, a compression is like a crest and the rarefaction is like a trough. The height of a wave at the crest is called its amplitude. Amplitude is represented as A. If amplitude is less, the sound is not loud. If the amplitude increases, the sound becomes louder. The distance between two consecutive crests is called wavelength. It is denoted by this symbol and is called lambda. In one wavelength, the wave travels through one complete vibration. The time taken by a wave to complete one vibration is known as its time period. This is measured in seconds. This time period is also the time taken by the wave to cover a distance equal to its wavelength. The number of vibrations that are created by the source of the sound wave in one second is known as its frequency. It's denoted by an N or F and the unit of frequency is Hertz. The frequency helps us describe the pitch of a sound. High pitch sounds are usually shrill like this while low pitch sounds are usually soft like this. Humans can hear sounds approximately within the frequency of 20 Hz to 20,000 Hz, while dogs can hear sounds up to 65,000 Hz. The next time you're listening to your favorite song, imagine the tiny air molecules vibrating and carrying the sound to your ears. It's pretty cool, right?